Hi, my name is Dylan and I have been using iOS 12.2 beta for more than two months now. And today, Apple finally released the final version of it. It is available for all devices that support iOS 12. So after this video, go into the settings, general, software updates, and update to the latest version. In this video, I will tell you what is new in Apple latest software. At first, there is a completely new logo for Apple News. You can see here, there is this logo and th there is this one. So, I don't know, I prefer the new one because it looks more clean, etc. And this is likely to resemble their new uh, new subscription service. So, that's very good. And if you we go into the news, exactly, there is also a completely new thing you can see. So there is now just an Apple logo where previously it says Apple News. And there are also some new differences here. Like you can see here at the bottom you have channels, whereas now on iOS 12.2 you have following. The Apple News is now also available in Canada in either French or English. But as you can see, I live in Slovenia and have Apple News. Okay, you can see I have Apple News and I live in Slovenia. How is this possible? If you want to have Apple News and live outside of Australia, UK, USA and now Canada, all you can do is just go to Settings, General, then Language and Region and change the region to one of those countries. And that way you will be able to enjoy Apple News app, which is incredible, by the way. Another new interesting feature is in the Messages app, where you have an emojis. So now you can enjoy with all new giraffe, which is quite funny. I really like that one. Then we have shark, which is even more funny. And also owl and pig, I guess. Yes. So, if you like any emojis, you will definitely love this update. And then a feature I really like. Look at the difference. Here on iPhone XS Max, I have iOS 12.2, and there I have um, just the regular iOS 12.1.4. Uh, and now just look at the About section at all. Now in iOS 12.2, Apple finally completely redesigned the About section. It was the same since the original iPhone OS, and now it's completely different. You, it is divided in more sections, and now it is much more organized. You can see at the top we have name, then software version, modal name, modal number, serial number, whereas before this was all um, separated down here and you have to go to all mm, the settings to find that, and now everything is just divided in different sections, and I really li like that addition. And there is also a new tab, like here, limited warranty, where you can see when uh, your a uh, warranty will expire. If you live in a country where Apple Care is supported, you can actually buy Apple Care directly from this page. So this is also very nice. Another thing here is that the wallet app has been redesigned a bit, but I can't show you that. You can see a bit different here, but I can show you that because I live in Slovenia where Apple Pay Cash is not supported, etc. But here are some screenshots how this will work. So now you can add um, money directly to uh, the Apple Pay Cash card. So that's very good. And also you have some uh, different uh, new stuff here. In iOS 12.2, you can add your TV to the home app. So that's also very good. And then you can control your TV to a home app. And then in control center, Apple made quite a few changes. The first noticeable one is the new Apple TV remote icon. You can see it here. And also the app itself has been much redesigned. Just look at it. Here on iOS 12.2, it looks the entire screen and it looks much more simpler and more pleasant to eyes. But here it is just like a bubble and I don't like that one. This one is much better. There is also a new screen mirroring icon which now has two display rather than one. And this is like much more rational. And also for some users there have been different icon here for AirPlay when you are connected either to HomePod or TV. 
and this is also very good. I really like this admiration for details. What's more, here in Safari, now when you search for something, I don't know, like Apple, and here Apple, you get those, you can see arrows, blue arrows, on the searches and that is so good. I so like that. There is also new security thing on Safari. When you are on a site that doesn't use a secure HTTPS connection, uh, those sites are now permanently listed as not secure. But before this uh, shown just if you had to, I don't know, fill in credit card information or anything like that. In Maps app, you can now see air quality index. For example, for New York, there is like now at 29, so the quality is quite good. And, um, but this is uh, right now just available for some cities like New York. But if we go, I don't know, like Paris or whatever. So in Europe, um, there is like no air quality index. So that's quite bad. Then there is screen time. When you go to screen time, there is a um, spinning circle that shows you that screen time is still loading. Before you have just to gas and wait until screen time uh, will begin working uh, and uh, show proper time of usage. Downtime, okay, now you can go like to downtime. And uh, one thing that you can see in downtime is that now you can actually customize particular days. So I don't know, it's incredible. You can customize downtime for every day differently before you have just start and end. So that is very good. The performance on iOS 12.2 has been incredible. And I definitely recommend you to update to it. Even though it is not a big upgrade, it brings a lot of bug fixes and performance improvements. And if you are planning to get AirPods 2, they will only work with iOS 12.2 and later. So if you care about performance and AirPods 2, don't waste a minute of your time on old iOS version. This is all for today. Have a great day. Bye.